for many that don't know the intelligence community, tell us, what do you think of the present capability of MI6, Mossad, SVR, which is the new KGB? Um, so, none of them are global. None of them are asked to be global. None of them pretend they're global. But you guys are paying for the only intelligence community in the world that is asked to be global and is expected to be global. And so they're, they're all more or less niche players. Um, the, the Brits are very good, and, and there, there's enough throw weight there that it, besides the special relationship thing, it, they're really, the, the, the phrase at CIA is, got a lot of time for those guys. Mm. Okay, so the Brits are there. By the way, um, you, you missed one, I'll throw in here, the Aussies. Mm -hmm. They're really good. They really know their neighborhood. And culturally, they're more like us than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Even even more than the cousins mm -hmm. in Britain. <laughs> okay. Mossad, again, very regionally focused. No pretense at trying to be global. They know what their issues are. They don't pretend they do what it is they don't do. They, they focus on the threats to, the, to, to Israel. Uh, Mossad has more legal authorities than your intelligence services have. And, and so when we would talk to Mossad, we have to be very, the British legal authorities are kind of like ours, and the Aussies. The Mossad, I would make the judgment, you never ask, I would make the judgment that they have more authorities under Israeli law than I had under American law. Mm -hmm. And so when you, when you work <clears throat> with someone like that, you can work. But you have to be careful that you don't enable them to do something you are not legally authorized to do. Because then you're aiding and abetting. And I guess I'm trying to impress upon folks is, you know, yeah, this is in the shadows, but it's really controlled by American law. Okay. Uh, you asked about SVR and FSB. Those, those are the Russian services. Um, they're also delusional. <laughs> now they, they have an incredibly conspiratorial view. We actually talked about this briefly with KT uh, today. Um, they actually think we did that Kiev thing. Right? They, they actually think that was that was CIA. I, I wish. You know. <laughs> I mean, we had nothing to do with it. In fact, if you, if you want to blame us on it for anything, it's not paying enough attention to that part of the world. But they, they think we did it. And they tell Putin we did it. And that that affects how he makes judgments too. Mm -hmm. So so intelligence services matter. Uh, so we, we, we've done the British, we've done the um, Israelis, we've done the Russians. French are very good. They got a lot more running room than we do too. Mm -hmm. They're in terms of law, they they can they can do more edgy things than us. We have a lot of time for the French. Mm -hmm. Very good services. The Germans and the Japanese, not so much. Still got that overhang from World War II? Mm -hmm. they, no, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> unless, say, say, unless the Chinese. <coughs> oh, the Chinese, yeah. The, the Chinese beat you on scale and mass. Okay, so I, I, I would say as a professional, I just stand back in awe at the breadth, depth, and persistence of the Chinese espionage effort against the United States of America. It's awesome. I, I don't know how they even... How, how they even file all the stuff they steal. <laughs> but they are not nearly as sophisticated as the Russians. So you, you, your first question was about cyber. Mm -hmm. all right? Chinese are noisy. And they don't seem to mind. They just go in and take it. Russians, far more sophisticated. Okay? But, the Rus but the Chinese beat you on scale. Mm -hmm. They beat you on mass. Mm -hmm. 